Welcome back. In this class, we are talking about emotions. Mm -hmm. And we have learned the importance of being aware of our emotions so that rather than reacting, mm -hmm. we can respond to emotionally charged situations in a healthy uh, way. Yeah. Yes. Emotions that are not properly processed and managed can negatively affect our health and the quality of our life in many ways. Mm -hmm. Fear can keep us from applying for a job or pursuing a relationship. Anxiety might cause us to avoid opportunities and limit ourselves. Desperation can cause us to make premature decisions that we will regret later. Mm -hmm. And it's been proven that emotions can directly impact our health, our physical health. If we don't learn to be aware of and manage our emotions, uh, we may miss our opportunities, blessings, and victories God wants to bring into our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you remember Moses who God appointed to deliver the children of Israel from Egypt to the Promised Land. His emotions of, of frustration and anger with the people, you know, prompted him to react. Mm. You know, and he hit the rock instead of speaking to the rock as God has uh, had instructed. He was not able to complete the mission. Why? Because his emotion to take the people to the promised land. He wasn't able to go to the promised land because mm -hmm. he, he's, he's he got angry. mad. <laughs> yeah, his emotions. Mm -hmm. Romans fourteen seventeen says, The kingdom of God is not a matter of food or drink, but instead it is righteousness, that state which makes a person acceptable <clears throat> to God, and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. I heard Lance Wall now say it this way. If the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy, then one-third of the kingdom is righteousness or our position in Christ. Mm -hmm. And we see in Romans 4, 24 and 25 that righteousness is granted to us when, when we believe by faith. And it says, righteousness, standing acceptable to God, will be granted and credited to us also who believe in Trust in and rely on God who raised Jesus, our Lord, from the dead, who was betrayed and put to death because of our misdeeds and was raised to secure our justification, mm -hmm. our acquittal, making our account balance and absolving us from all guilt before God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So once we believe by faith in Jesus, we are righteous, and we have access to peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The remaining two-thirds of the kingdom, peace and joy, are mm -hmm. a state or condition that can be accessed by our position of righteousness. We are spirit, remember, mm -hmm. and we're going to repeat this constantly. And we have a soul and live in the body. When our spirit becomes righteous, the soul and body have access to peace and joy that our spirit received from the Holy Spirit. As citizens and ambassadors of the kingdom, we're able to be established in God and not moved by things or circumstances on the outside. Yeah. Our strength comes from an inner habitation of our spirit, with God's spirit instructing the body and soul. Amen. This will result in peace that passes understanding in moments when fear and anxiety are banging on the door. Mm -hmm. In 2 Kings 6, 15 to 17, Elisha and his servants were surrounded, mm -hmm. you know, by enemies. And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, Master, what shall we do? And yeah. his answer was, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elijah prayed and say, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord, listen, open the eyes of the young man and he saw. Mm. What he saw? Behold, a mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Angels Elijah. Around yeah. Him. Yeah. In favor of Elijah. They were both participating in the same experience, mm -hmm. but each one responded differently based on their perspective. Yeah. His servant became afraid, but Elisha was able to not allow the circumstance to cause him to react, mm -hmm. but instead connect to the Spirit and see that greater were those who were with them than those who were against them. Yep. I love that. And Philippians, is, uh, Philippians <laughs> right? <laughs> Philippians 4 7 <laughs> says. <laughs> and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. 
This special peace of God that passes understanding will result in joy, which gives us strength to stand in faith and trust in moments of difficulties when the body and the soul faint. Amen. Yeah. Nehemiah 8.10 says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Mm -hmm. Good verse. Peace and joy are also fruits of the Spirit. They exude from us, and they allow people to taste and see that the Lord is good. Mm -hmm. Your peace and joy will impact the people and shift the environment around you. Mm -hmm. Your position of righteousness in God provides a canopy over your mind and emotions mm -hmm. and allows you to... Um, the option to shift your perspective mm -hmm. or that mindset and align with the spirit thereby causing you to be established in peace that passes understanding so this also provides joy that gives us strength to be God's ambassador on earth doing things beyond our human capacity that will bring glory to God Amen yeah. How long does it take for you to go from an emotional state of sorrow, anxiety, bitterness, fear, depression, or offense to peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not necessary to do 21 days of prayer oh, and fasting. Thank too God. Long to wait. <laughs> Find a church or someone to pray for you or spend three hours in worship to mm -hmm. shift your perspective. Yeah. We have access to the Spirit on the inside at any moment, and we can access the kingdom in the blink of an eye Amen. because it's only a matter of repentance, mm -hmm. which we learned in another class means to think again. It means to change the way we think and perceive and begin to act according to our new understanding. When the things of the natural physical world cause your emotion to manifest, you can tap into the invisible spiritual kingdom of righteousness, peace, and joy mm -hmm. in the Holy Spirit. If Christ is in you and you are living by His strength and grace, you can choose to shift your perspective and mm -hmm. allow God to alter your state in a moment by accessing the Spirit of God in you. It only takes a moment, like Susan was saying, you know, to shift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Verse 6 of 1 Samuel 30 says that when David and his men returned to Ziglag to find the city burned and their wives and children taken, David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him because the souls of the people were grieved, every man for his children. Yes. But David strengthened himself in the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, yes, and uh, something amazing happened in verse 8. We see David turn his focus to God asking for directions mm -hmm. and how to, to handle the situation. And you know what? God gave him the victory, and the Bible says that they got everything back. Not only their wives and their children, but also everything great and small. And that's great news for, for us. Yeah. yeah, and if he hadn't have shifted his focus, the results of the outcome might have been different. They no, might not have got everything back. They might have yeah, died. Could, yeah. A lot of things no could victory. have happened. Yeah. yeah. 2 Timothy 1, seven says that, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. We see here all three members of the Godhead present in this verse. Yep. The Holy Spirit is the power of God for us and in us. Mm -hmm. God the Father is love. He so loved the world that He gave Jesus for us. Jesus is the truth that gives us the mind of Christ Amen. or a sound mind. Yes. When we choose to live by the Spirit, aligning our body, soul, and spirit with the Spirit of God rather than reacting to situations, that triggers our emotion, we can not only be aware, but effectively manage uh, our emotion by responding with power, love, and, and sound mind uh, from our state of righteousness, peace, joy, and in the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As we said in the first portion of this class, the difference between healthy and successful people and others who aren't so healthy and successful is often related to the health of their soul and their ability to effectively manage mind, will, and emotions. So don't forget, if you are interested in going deeper on this or any topic, click on the Climb Higher graphic at the bottom mm -hmm. of the class, and we'll see you in the next step where we will learn more about the soul.